Hey, it's Lynn Brown. I'm a speaker, trainer, and coach with the John Maxwell team and a teaching partner with Empowered Living. And the first half of my life, I literally spent trapped by the opinions of other people. And then in my spare time, I was literally just caught up in comparison. I constantly compared everything that I thought, everything I did with everyone else. To top it all off, I had a broken mindset. And the unfortunate part of all of that is that I didn't even know it. I was not aware of the limiting beliefs that were holding me back. And then one day, I remember exactly where I was. I was in my office and I shut the door and I looked up and said out loud, I guess I was literally talking to God. I, I mean, and I said, there's got to be more for me than this. And at that point, I, I got on my computer and opened an email and yes, I was at work when I did it and I shouldn't have, but I was desperate. And I saw this, this ad that said, become a speaker, trainer, and coach. And I knew at that moment that that was, that was the purpose of my life. Since then, I've been drinking from the fire hose. I mean, I have been on a growth journey like never before. But, but the thing that I realized right out of the gate was that as I began to change the way that I was looking at things, the things that I looked at began to change. And then it wasn't long after that, that I saw the quote by Wayne Dyer that said the same thing. When you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. And so now I'm just living my best life. I'm in the process. I'm not perfect. And this podcast is not for perfect people. So if you're looking for perfect, you might want to catch another one. <laughs> but anyway, if you're not, if you're willing to just, you know, join us on our journey to become the best versions of ourselves, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm super excited to introduce to you my new friend, Sam. She is an amazing, just woman that is passionate about helping us all become healthy and, and the best versions of ourselves from the inside and out. And so today, Sam, we're just super excited to have you on the Gritty Women Podcast and tell us, what are you most excited about today? Thank you, Lynn. I'm most excited about helping women achieve their skin goals. Like I love when I have a client who comes into me with skin problems or with wrinkles and just doesn't feel great about her skin and through a series of treatments and skincare and just overall health and wellness education, um, I can make such a positive impact on her life. Wow. Well, I can, I can see how, how what you do, your work would be very rewarding because I know yes. just from through my coaching and the work that I do in companies and organizations, I, I see and hear so many women that are truly not living in their power, not stepping into their purpose because of uh, limiting beliefs and this self image. And even though we know that it's not what on the, it's not what matters, you know, most it's what's on the inside and not the outside, but still it has an impact on how we feel about ourselves. So, so talk to us. How can you, how can you help us out? <laughs> um, with my clients that come in to see me in a treatment room, usually I sit down and I go through, I have them fill out a form. Um, I ask them questions about their current skincare products, figure out what they're using. And then I also ask them questions about gut health. Like what kind of foods are they eating? Um, <clears throat> You know, what's their lifestyle like? Are they exercising? Are they under a lot of stress? Are they sleeping well? Because all of that, which we don't realize, is our skin's the largest organ of the body. So what we're putting on it and what we're putting in it impacts the way we look and feel. Um, and I do a lot of virtual things now with clients as well. Um, and same thing, I just kind of take a look at like the whole body. I mean, I like to kind of, my new approach is like body, mind, spirit of the skin, which we don't ever associate with it. But when you have everything like what you're doing, you know, you really have to have a strong mindset because if you look in the mirror and you focus on that acne or you focus on those wrinkles, it's just going to get worse. Um, and if you're using the wrong products, you're just going to make your skin worse. And <clears throat> a lot of women end up buying products because they see someone using it that's got great skin and they're like, oh, well, I need that. But that doesn't necessarily work for their skin. So it's all about learning and figuring out what works for you. So I love being able to do that for people. That's, that's so true because I know we all have that drawer, you know, in, in our bathroom that has all that stuff in it that we've never even used because you're right. It wasn't, it wasn't designed for us. Yeah. And, 
and we do have to to know you know what type of skin we have and and what our needs are but you're right it's it's so much more than just opening a product and putting it on your skin because yeah. you know we can we can do one thing right and do five things wrong and and still not have you know success so yeah. that that is that is so true how did you get interested in this area years ago i was 23 when i went to esthetician school and I was at that point in my life where I'm like, what am I going to do with my life? You know, it's like when you're young and you're in high school, they're like, you have to pick a career. So I had all that pressure and I never, it took me for what felt like forever to figure that out. And my mom was like, you love makeup. Cause I used to go out every night and my makeup matched my clothes. And I had so much fun buying makeup and, you know, playing around with it. So she's like, why don't you go to esthetician school? You can learn about skin. You can learn about makeup and then go be a makeup artist. And I realized right away, I hate putting makeup on people, but I fell in love with the science of the skin. And so since then, like I've just, I just love everything about the skin and I love learning about it. And especially now it's like, you don't, I've learned so much about gut health and internal wellness and how it impacts the skin. So it's like you're, I'm constantly learning and there's just, there's so much to learn and it's just such an exciting field to be in. Wow. Well, it's, there's certainly a need for it. And I think Mm -hmm. right now with, with so much emphasis on our health and and we're realizing how as as a, as a nation, I'll just speak for our our country, but really around the world too. Mm -hmm. But I know our nation, we're, we're just, we, we need to raise our awareness in the area of health. I, I totally believe that. I believe that a lot of the things that we're facing could be prevented if, if we focus on our health. So I'm, I'm like you, very interested in, in the gut, gut health and just mm-hmm. the hydration, the sleeping patterns, the, you know, the eating patterns, all these things. And we don't think that 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 they matter. We just think, you know, finding that lip gloss color or whatever is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And we're a little more complicated than that. Yeah. And the problem is like our idols are celebrities that have like clear, flawless skin and they're getting plastic surgery and injections. And it's like, that's really not who we should be idolizing. Like we, I love when a woman has wrinkles. I think it shows, um, it shows our age, but it also makes us look real. Like some of these women that have so much Botox and injections, while I know some people need that to feel good, I personally don't think it looks right. Um, I don't think we should hide our wrinkles. I think we should embrace and enhance our natural beauty because that's when we really truly feel beautiful in the inside and then on the outside. Oh, well, you're, you're my new best friend. That, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> because I'm just like, whoa, I can remember my mom always told me you're going to, there's going to come a day when you, your, your skin's going to look like my skin. And I was like, oh, no. yeah. and, well, that's happening, but, um, <laughs> but you're right. It's, it's who we are and it's not anything to be ashamed of. And mm-hmm. I think when we truly value who we are on the inside, then we can begin to look at the areas that we can improve. I believe, you know, we're all, we all every day can, we have the opportunity to become better you know, today than we were yesterday. Yeah. And, you know, yesterday I, I, you know, was in a potato chip bag. I mean, I just was, I'm just being honest today. I've done better, you know? Mm-hmm. And so we just have to, we just have to every day wake up with that, that yeah. goal. So tell Absolutely. us about your upcoming virtual event. Yeah, I'm doing a five-day skin challenge um, starting August 17th, and it's going to cover all aspects of the skin. It's going to cover mindset, skin education, um, you know, different products and how to really simplify your skincare routine and create a skincare routine that works for you. Um, It's going to cover diet. It's going to cover lifestyle and nutrition and just how to be healthy, you know, distressing techniques. self-care tips and how to get a better night's sleep, which is something that we all need. I'm terrible at sleep and I know I need to get better. And I know there's a lot of people out there that struggle with the same problems. And stress right now is huge because we're, we're in a time that no one has ever experienced before. And it's causing a lot of stress. And even with my clients, like I can feel the energy difference when they're in my treatment room. Um, but I also see a lot more skin problems too, not only from the stress, but from the masks. A lot of people are getting skin irritations. 
um, or rashes. And some people are getting like, I call it mask knee because they're getting blackheads and acne in those areas where the mask sits and they're sweating and it's rubbing on their face and causing a lot more problems. Yeah. It's, it's so funny. Some people um, actually were saying that they were, you know, and really I have, I've done this before too with my mask is, you know, just using it multiple times before washing it. I'm like, we really need to be washing it every time, every time we use it, you know, yeah. when we come in from the day or whatever. I know that's, that's hard, but mm -hmm. these are just new, new habits that we need to create. And, yeah. you know, I, I do believe we're going to get past all this, but yes. for now we need to, you know, practice the best self-care, you know, that we can. And I think that's interesting that you brought up sleep because sleep is something that definitely impacts, you know, our ability to regulate our weight and our, and our stress levels, which we know often come through on our skin. You can tell, you know, I never really had problems with um, acne during my, you know, teenage years, but as an adult I did. And, and I can tell, and it wasn't severe obviously, but um, I can tell at the times I really get stressy, I can see some of that pop up and it's like, wow. So on, on the area of sleep, you know, there's, there's so much, and I, I'm glad that you're incorporating that in your virtual event and your skincare challenge, because a lot of people don't even realize just the temperature that they set in their home yeah. um, definitely can affect that. And then there are supplements, of course, that can add to the sleep and mm -hmm. exercise to me. That's the biggest thing as I increase my exercise, that was the thing I have to wear myself out because my <laughs> brain, it just goes nonstop. But if I wear my body out, I can sleep better. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that that's great. I'm glad you included that in your yeah. virtual event. And the one thing we don't realize is our skin's an organ. And when we get eight hours of sleep, our organs all repair themselves. So again, if your skin isn't repairing itself correctly, it can actually speed up the aging process. And like you were saying, it can cause stress to the body, which again, results in acne or skin inflammation. Yes, that is for sure. Mm -hmm. um, also too, do you, um, what would you recommend for you know, there are listeners that have maybe like preteens or, you know, teenagers, you know, young girls, what is the great age to begin to start really being intentional with your skincare routine? Yeah. I have some of my clients bringing their daughters in around like 11 or 12. Some are a little bit older, like 14, 15. I guess it depends on everybody's individualized skin. Some girls do start getting blackheads around 11 or 12 and some, you know, like boys, they usually don't get it until about 14, 15. Some do get it earlier, but I would say when you start noticing um, like the blackheads forming and the skin changing and really for my teenagers, what I do is I keep it simple. I don't always recommend acne lines because those lines are designed for somebody with extremely oily skin. So if your child is still has a little bit of dry skin, which is pretty normal at that age because the oil glands aren't fully mature. So it's like they'll have oily days and dry days. Um, you don't want to put an acne line on that skin because you're just going to make it worse. You're going to speed up the oil production and you can dry and strip the skin and cause it to become like flaky, dry, dehydrated. So I would look for just a foamy cleanser, um, something that cleans the skin good, but doesn't make it feel tight and dry. And then just a nighttime, moist, like a day and night moisturizer. Um, and then a one to two time a week exfoliation. So they're young, they're getting into the routine. So you don't want to throw a ton of products at them because they're never going to use them. But if you keep it simple, like wash your face in the shower, when you get out, put on the moisturizer, like they can do that. Cause that's something simple. Yeah. And simple works, isn't it? I mean, simple works. It's just, we have to do something that we're going to, that is sustainable and that we're going to be able to do every day. Yeah. And it's so funny. I just I was thinking when you're talking about the young girls, I was so, this shows you um, how the state I was in for a long time in my life, but I was so insecure when around age like nine, 10, 11, my friend had to go to a dermatologist because she had bad acne and I begged my mom to get acne medicine for me. And she was like, why? I'm like, because I just feel like I need it. And she's like, you don't have any acne. And I, but I was so insecure. I wanted that. That's, that's twisted. You know, that's really bad, but I'm just being honest today. But um, I, I definitely just, you know, love this area of work. And, and I think it's one that honestly, I was not educated at, 
at a young age. So I think, I think there's such a need for it Mm -hmm. for young girls to understand the importance of it now. And, you know, I mean, I always, after about age 22, I, I, then I started using sunscreen on my face. I can tell such a big difference from my face, just from, from this neck area, because I did not put the sunscreen here. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I have those wonderful, those beautiful wrinkles as you, that you were talking about earlier, (laughs) you know, and so I'm going to talk to, I'm going to talk to my wrinkles differently now because of you. So thank you, Sam. But, um, but yeah, I think, I think there's such a big need for that Mm -hmm. for for young girls to realize that they can take control now at at a young age Mm -hmm. and keep their skin. So, so healthy and beautiful. Yeah. And that's the thing, like if they establish it at a young age, they're always going to have that skincare routine. It's just going to be part of, part of their day. Yeah. And it's so funny because people are so, so eager to invest in, you know, their clothes or, you know, their necklace or their shoes or whatever. And I'm thinking, but your skin is your face. That's where everybody looks at you. When, yeah. when you talk to people, even on virtual, you know, I guess virtual gives us a little grace, you know, because <laughs> sometimes it's just kind of kind of faded, faded, fades into everything, but, but face, you know, face to face, whatever, mm-hmm. but, but our skin is, that's, you know, your face, that's, that's how you communicate. That's what people, yeah. people see it and not for the wrong reason, but you need to take care of it just as much as you take care of what you put on the outside of your skin. Absolutely. I think sometimes we miss that in our society. We just, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. Yeah, Absolutely. So now as, as, as a young girl, you loved, you loved playing the makeup as a little yeah. girl. Did you? Yeah. Not when I was little, more so like once I got to be a teenager. Just like the teenage years. Yeah. yeah. My daughter loves makeup and she's only seven. It's hysterical. I'm like, I don't know where she gets it from. She doesn't get it from me because I don't spend a ton of time on my makeup now because I'm a single mom of three. So I have like a five minute routine down pat, but she's like, mom, I need makeup. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Wow. So Isn't that amazing? So, yeah. wow. What a, what an amazing um, mama you are to have three children and, and yeah, a single mom on top of that, to be able to just have that, that, that persistence and that, that, that grit to, to yeah. get up every day and go out and, and provide for your family. Wow. That, that's amazing. We have a, you have a great powerful story that I know will be such an encouragement to the world. And I know that you're going to be launching your own podcast um, in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about that. That is, that is great news. Mm-hmm. That is great news because I, I don't think there's ever been a more important time than now yeah. to speak into the lives of other people and to, to share, you know, as we share our story, sometimes, you know, so many people will say to me, well, I just don't know if I have a story. I'm like, oh, you have a story. Everybody has a story, yeah. you know, and you have a voice that only you will reach other people with. And and there's somebody out there right now waiting to hear, you know, your story, Sam. And so I'm super excited about that podcast that you're going to be launching. Thank you. When you saw the, the request, you know, we put it, we threw out there, we're like, we're, we'd love to have guests on the Gritty Women podcast, you know, in Gritty, the G in Gritty stands for gratitude. The R is for resilience. The I is for inspiration because we have to be inspired with ourselves before we can inspire others. The two T's in Gritty are think tough because we know that this life is not for wimps. And why is you do you? Which part of Gritty resonates with you? Um, I would say you do you. I mean, you know, everybody has their own special unique gift and story to share with the world. And when we tap into that, you know, we can accomplish anything because then we're coming from an authentic place and we're showing up um, not only for others, but for ourselves too. And I feel like, you know, when you do you, you're serving others. You're not, you're not pushing things. Um, Years ago, when I first started in, you know, doing facials and started my business, I was so worried about the the dollar, you know, like, oh my gosh, am I going to make enough? And now it's shifted into oh my gosh, I get to change someone's life with my bare hands. Like the way when someone gets off my table and their skin is glowing and they're like, oh my gosh, you made me feel so good. Like that to me is the most rewarding thing. And all I did was show up, give them what works for their skin that day. And, you know, it's just, it's such a satisfying feeling. Wow. That, that is, that is so amazing. It is so true. You know, that one person, that one day, even if that's all you did in one day was that one, you know, you made a difference in her life and she's going to go out and live 
more confident and probably pay it forward in some way because she feels better as, as a woman. Yes. And I think that that's so powerful and you're right. It can, it can just happen in so many of uh, just the smallest ways, mm-hmm. the smallest ways. I mean, today I was working out this morning early and there was a lady there and you could tell she had some health issues and she was struggling with, you know, starting a new weight program. And I just stopped for a minute, encouraged her and mm-hmm. it was nothing in, yeah. in my eyes. It was nothing. I was just being friendly and, but anyway, after our little talk, she said, you know, I feel empowered. And I thought, that's awesome. You know, it was just passing by. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's yep. just, it's just what you do every day. I mean, you, like you said, you're not thinking about the dollar amount. You're thinking about who can I go out there and impact their life. And, mm-hmm. and you're right. It's, it's about changing lives. And, and we never even know if it, it could even be about saving lives. Right. Absolutely. You hear stories of that all the time. Mm -hmm. Just don't know. We just have no idea, but everybody, everybody that has a breath, I believe with all my heart is, is, is looking for encouragement. It's, it's, it's truly oxygen to the soul. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Well, we appreciate you so much. Just taking time out of your busy day and you know, your life. Wow. Three, three children. Now, did you say they're all girls or no, I have one girl, two boys and a girl, my two boys and a girl. Okay. Um, so that's why she's a little diva. She knows that's she's got to, she's got to find her place in that, oh, yeah. in that world. Because I don't have to worry about her. <laughs> she's tough. She's tough. I know being raised with boys, she's going to be tough. Yeah. And, um, so that is, that is awesome. And tell us how we can connect with you. Okay. My website is skin deep, I L as in Illinois.com. Um, and you can find me on both Facebook and Instagram at skin deep I L. All right. So skin deep I L that is, that's cool. And man, I wish I was closer cause I might just pop over for a facial today. Yeah, there you go. When you're in Chicago, you'll have to contact me. <laughs> I know, I will. I'll have to do it. And you can you can um, do yes. some magic on my neck. I will. No, I need to be going like this up, not down, right? <laughs> yeah. You up. should look into facial yoga. Facial yoga. Yes. There's. If you look it up on YouTube, there's this one. I can't remember her name, but she teaches facial yoga. And you do all these exercises with your face. And it literally helps lift and tighten your face muscles. Okay. I'm so writing that down. Facial okay. yoga. I might, I, have a I might have to jump on here with you and we all have to do a class. And there you, you go. Show me how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I have a machine that will do that, but like client, I have, t- I have what, two or three clients that do facial yoga in between these lifting treatments and they look phenomenal. Yeah. I'm so going to check it out. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. And yeah. thank you for for joining us today, you know, you on, the, the on the Pretty Women podcast. And, and so now tell us again, August 17th, is that right? August 17th, it starts. August 17th. Yes. Okay, and I can perfect. give you a link to the Facebook group. Good, good. Please do that. And we can all share it for you. Get, get a lot of people on there for you. So thanks again for joining us today. And, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. And remember, gritty is the new pretty. So we'll see you, we'll see you soon. Bye.